Understanding, wet behind the ears, an English idiom explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a quirky and interesting idiom, wet behind the ears. This phrase might sound a bit funny at first, but it's a colorful way to describe someone's experience level. Let's unpack its meaning, origin, and how you can use it in everyday conversations. Wet behind the ears is an idiom used to describe someone who is new to a particular field or activity and thus inexperienced or naive. The imagery here is quite vivid. It suggests that someone is so fresh or young that they are still wet behind the ears, as if they've just been born or hatched. It's often used in a light-hearted or slightly teasing manner but can also be a gentle way to note someone's lack of experience without being overly critical. The exact origins of the phrase, wet behind the ears, are a bit murky, but it's believed to have agricultural or rural roots. The phrase might have originally referred to newborn animals, still damp with amniotic fluid, particularly behind the ears where they might not have been thoroughly licked clean by their mothers. Over time, it evolved into a metaphor for inexperience, not just in animals but in humans too, especially in a work or task-related context. Now that you know what it means, how do you use wet behind the ears in your conversations? Here are a few examples. In a work setting, Jake is still a bit wet behind the ears, but he's learning quickly and showing a lot of potentials. Among friends, you can't expect him to know all the rules of the game yet. He's still wet behind the ears. In self-reflection, I was wet behind the ears when I first joined the industry, but I've come a long way since then. Remember, while it's a friendly and light-hearted idiom, the context and tone of your conversation will determine if it's appropriate to use. And that wraps up our exploration of the idiom, wet behind the ears. We hope this video shed some light on this colorful expression and how you can incorporate it into your English vocabulary. Whether you're discussing someone's experience level or reflecting on your own journey, this idiom adds a playful twist to the conversation. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to practice using new idioms in your daily English. See you in the next video.